Yo, what's going on, Create Nation? And today, we we are in the off season of Xavier Blackwood's career mode. Now we're just gonna go in a rundown of things that happened stats wise, schedule wise. We finished eleven and five. Eleven and five. Our five losses came from Philadelphia Eagles, the Redskins, um, the Jets, and the Saints. And unfortunately. We got beat by the Saints twice because they're the ones that put us out the playoffs. So that's a that's a really tough pill to swallow, man. But Seattle and the 49ers finished with the best records, half of the best records in the league. Followed by the Saints, the Vikings, and the Cowboys, man. So we up there in the in the top five and Detroit Lions finished one and fifteen, man. Followed by the Redskins, the Cardinals, the Rams, and the Bucks. Rounds out of the top five, man. More than likely, that's what your top five picks in the draft going to be. Now, for the season, we didn't get that much playing time as we wanted to, but when the opportunity presented itself, we made the most of it, man. Our first action, we got 66 yards and two touchdowns through the air, man. 87 yards. So that's definitely a good thing. Rushing against Miami, we had 87 yards rushing. Now, we went on a stretch where we didn't see no playing time until week 14. We had 95, 94 passing yards through the air with one TD, 50% pass completion. So that's, that's pretty, pretty promising, man. But the most damage, yeah, 12 or 10, 172 rushing yards and two TDs on the ground. I would say that's damn good, man. As you can see, we got last week 19, man. We got put out the playoffs by the Saints, man. By the Saints, I believe they end up end up winning up end up winning uh losing in the Super Bowl, man. So, a season stats wise, we had 160 yards through the air with three TDs. Brett Favre barely had 2,000 yards, man. And nearly more interceptions than touchdowns. 11 touchdowns through the air, 10 interceptions, 54% pass completion. He sacked 44 times. And as you can see up there, 20 years he's been in the league. So I'm pretty sure this is his last year. AP cracked the 1,000-yard mark with nine touchdowns, man. And Toby Gerhardt had a pretty decent year. 741 yards on the ground, seven TDs. So that's, that's pretty decent, really, really good backup numbers. And for us, 273 yards on the ground. And we added another two TDs. And Brett Favre, Brett Favre had 246 yards rushing on the season, man. That's crazy. And leading in the ball club in reception and receiving yards is Sidney Rice. But that touchdown ratio got to change, man, most definitely. Bernard Barron had five touchdowns through the air, 37, yard, 37 receptions for 554 receiving yards. And Percy Harvin, man, 277 receiving yards with four TDs, man. I'm pretty sure injuries had something to do with that, so ain't going to make excuses, man. But Brian McKinney, the, the, the offensive line, seen they had too many sacks, man. But Antoine Whitfield Sr. led the team in tackles, man. <laughs> and Jared Allen led the team in sacks, man, with 13. Followed by it was with nine. Kennedy had six, and Henderson had five, man. A lot of, it's a lot, a lot of sacks going on for us, man. Definitely, most definitely. And Mr. Williams led the team in interception with five, followed by Greenway and Winfield. So that's a rundown of just the stats that's been going on. And, man, I can't wait to – we know we're going to take over, man, because ain't no way Brett Favre playing no 21 years, man. But Peyton Manning led the league in passing. Just shy of 4,300 yards, man. Just shy of 4,300 yards. That's crazy, man. But Tom Brady led the league in touchdown passes with 37, followed by Peyton Manning with 30. And Matt Castle, man, 21 interceptions. At least it's not that Jamie Winston, man, thirty, Mr. 30 for 30, man. D'Angelo Williams led the league in the rushing, man, with over 1,800 yards, followed by Jackson, Joseph Adai, and Freddie Jackson. And he also led the league, tied the league in rushing touchdowns, man, so they he been getting it in down there in Carolina. And TJ, who's your mama? Led the league in, in reception, 124, and Steve Smith, it led the league in receiving yards with over 1,800. And Mr. Chad Okosinko led the league in, in touchdown with 17. That's crazy. Now, this is just absolutely in, in, insane, man. 210 tackles. 
John Beeson, the, the fall Miami Hurricane, man. 210 tackles, which is crazy, man. And Jared Allen led the league with 31 tackles for loss. And Elmas Dumaville led the league in sacks rather by Aaron Curry, the the Wake Forest slash Seattle Seahawk bust, man. And the Ricky Earl Thomas. We know we know what he can do in real life. So he led the league in interceptions. So that's just a run out of the stats of so season stats are going on, man. I can't wait, wait for season two, man. The season two is in this video, man. We finished off with an 87 overall. When you practice, you get points, man. We just added 92 speed, 63 strength, 52 awareness. Don't crack on me on that. 95 agility, 94 acceleration, 54 catching, 67 carrying, 80 break tackle. Yes, that's 80 break tackle. 95 throw power and 89 accuracy, man. That's why they want you to practice every time you practice. And it's certain times of the month, all them practices that you've been doing, them points add up. And you can have like three or 4,000 points that you can spend on your players. So that's crazy. So now here we are. Season two, week one preseason, man. We officially started and we headed off to AP Mr. All Day. Who picks up a big gain on the play. Big gain on the play, man. But this preseason, man, we are not, not going to be running him to the ground, man. We will not. That's something we can't can, can cannot do. This is not no regular season game, man. It's just preseason. Get a feel for your team and see what they can do. So we would not be handing the ball off the AP that that like that, man. A nice block right there. But Sidney Rice hangs on to the catch. He did take a lick though. That was our leading receiver last year. Bring up second and six. And we are striking this and the touchdown, man. Oh, we're going to go ahead and run that. We're going to go ahead and run that. <laughs> Let's go. Be looking forward for that all season long, man. You can't take your eyes off him, man. You cannot take your eyes off it, Xavier. What's he going to make you pay, man? But like I just said, we are not going to be running AP to the ground. We will not. That's just crazy, man. Uh-uh. We out of there. We out of there. We are out of here, man. Let's go. We took up the first down. Now, like I said, coming to this season. Oh, man, look at these, man. Don't start this, this year, man. We running for our, We can't even set our feet. We cannot set our feet, man. That's crazy. 35 and five wide receivers set. We're going to see what we can come up with right here. And we're just going to nice, easy pass and pick up the first down, man. Keep them chains moving. That's second and 10. Like I say, man, it's it's, it's definitely going to be a fun season, man. It's a fun season. And come on, AP. You got to work with me. Just because I'm not giving the ball, don't pay me back by dropping it, man. Oh, we are the middle on that thing. We are the middle with that thing. Let's go. Shaking up my they shoes, man. Nice little hand out to AP. And AP. Little nice little running room right there. Who picks up a little handful? That's going to bring up a third and three. Third and three. Like I said, we will not be running AP like computer want us to. Oh, damn, good block. Let's go. Get out of the way. Let's go for a second touchdown of the game. You cannot do this with this kid, man. I've been stressing it all, all season last year, man. And I'm going to keep preaching it this season. You cannot do this with that kid. And we're going to try to send per Mr. Percy Harvard on a street route. He wasn't open. We just going to take off with this, man. No, we going to throw it to race. Let's go. Let's go. I thought he was going to drop that, to be honest, man. Now we are first and 10. We are knocking at the door once again. Plenty of time to throw the ball. Plenty of time. We going to take off with it, and we nearly pick up a first down. That's the thing with this offensive line, man. At, at times... They give you protection like you just saw. At times, they just watch people run in, man, which is crazy. Second and inches. Play action pass, and we get sacked. I did not see that corner coming. Did not see him coming, man. And we're going to go for it, man. Third and three. Thought it was the fourth down, but third and three. We've been perfect on third down so far. If we get enough of, like, five yards, we definitely going to go for it, man, most definitely. And we get back-to-back -back sacks, man. They run the pressure. We just couldn't pick it up, man. We could not pick it up. Now, like I said, this preseason, man, 
This is preseason. We're going to go for it, man. Fourth and seven. And you know the opportunity presents itself. If the running lanes are open, we definitely going to take off running. Ain't no doubt about that. Uh, we going to throw to, to Shanko for Sante. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. He getting in the end zone, actually. Let's go. All right, man, we up 21 to nothing. As y'all know, we don't play the full games. It's the first half, so we looking good so far, man, in our first official starter preseason game. And we're going to try to throw to Mr. Percy Harbour, who had a step on that corner. And I don't know how in the hell that corner caught up, man. Percy Harbour got a 97, 98 speed, man. And Xavier got that 95 throw power. So how in the hell that corner catch up, man? Look at that, man. Green grass all day. Green grass all day. Let's go. Come on, man. Don't cheat me like that. Come on, EA, man. We got an 80 carrier, man. An 80. And we going to take off this thing again, man. Use our legs, man. Just use our legs. We try to juke a defender right there, but not after. Uh, we just eating up yards, man. We eating up yards. Another play action pass. And we get it out to one of our favorite targets so far this game, man, for Sante Shenko. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. Let's go bring up a first and goal here. Are oh, they blitzing? They blitzing. We could have ran it in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sydney. <laughs> you got your ass popped, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we get that for the sack. I'm sorry. I'm still laughing at that hit, man. It was like in slow motion. He, like he was catching the ball. As soon as he looked up, he got his ass popped. Well, here we are, man. Third and goal from way back here. Oh, we ought to been trying to get the right play. Oh, you know we're going to take off with that thing. You know we're going to take off with that thing, man. Let's go. Let's flex on them, man. Let's get it. Our season debut is definitely, definitely paying off, man. As you can see, we end up winning 41 to nothing. I didn't play the rest of the game. You're going to play the first half of the season, so... It is what it is, man. It's a good thing to get this W, man. Thank y'all for rocking with me, man. My first RTG episode in NCAA 14. I couldn't imagine the numbers, so thank y'all, man. Really thank y'all. And I'm out.